In the last video, we talked about how astronomers measure the age of stars in star clusters. This video, however, is about calculating the age of lone stars, stars that exist outside clusters. In this case, the best way to determine their age is to measure their spin rate. Stars slow down as they get older, sort of similar to a spinning top which slows down as it continues to rotate. To measure a star's spin, astronomers use incredibly powerful telescopes, like the Kepler spacecraft, to look at dark patches called star spots, which travel across the surface as the star rotates. Because of the vast distances, astronomers can't directly see these spots. So instead, they look for dips in brightness that occur when the spot appears. Anytime a spot crosses the star's face, it dims slightly. Once the spot rotates out of view, the star's light brightens again. Typically, these spots only dim a star's brightness by less than 1%, meaning the changes are very difficult to measure, but Kepler can handle the task. The speed which these dark spots reappear on the surface of the star can tell how fast the star is spinning. Even though stars slow down with time, scientists still aren't sure exactly how much. Now, astronomers measure the spin rates of stars with a known age. What they do is they measure the spin of a star in a star cluster, and then compare that measurement to the spin rate of a similarly sized lone star. Therefore, we can now determine the age of the star. Our 4.6 billion year old sun, for example, has a spin period of 26 days. But the spin of a star is more complicated than that. Not all parts of the sun, for example, rotate at the same rate. If you want to learn more about the rotation of the sun, you can find the video in the description below. Please comment and tell us what videos we should make next. If you like this channel and want to support us, please subscribe and hit the bell icon.